Welcome to the Stanley Cup Finals here on EA Sports. Both teams seem ready, and they're about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Suzuki's won the draw here in their own zone. Feeds the puck to Slavkovsky. The Habs played along the boards. And he stakes that one with the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Puck picked up by Myers. Here's a shot. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. And the pump check. Oh, smart play. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Montreal's got it, and they're on the attack. Still has possession. Turned aside with the club right down to what a save, and they always say chance favors a prepared mind here, and this is a product of preparation here, James. You can't see the puck. You know you've got to find it. You've got to find it somehow. You trap, you make the save. Montreal's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that's a great hit up play in the offensive zone. You've been thunderstruck. Yeah, you can see and feel that coming, couldn't you, James? And man, that was thunderous. That was a huge hit. And it's a quick pass to Myers. Cooley's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass. Knocked away by Myers. Slides the puck over. And he totally whiffs on that one. Slides the puck down low. From against the wall, it's set it out. Looks to set up at the point now. Besser's got the puck. Here's a pass in front. Only comes up with a stop. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Dishes it off. Oh, and a huge save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Canadians win the draw. Oh, what a save with the glove by Demko. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Montreal's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and that's just on the side of the net. Well, this is a product of the game being so fast. James just wants to get rid of it and fires it wide. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Trying to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. But he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Vancouver's on the attack. Score! So that was a beauty! There it is, James, the first goal of this playoff series, and everyone wanted that one. You want to play with the lead, and you certainly want to dictate it.
Vancouver's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied. And that's what happened there. Takes that pass back at the point. And that caroms off one of his teammates in front. Here they come on the rush. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Montembeau. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Canucks have taken a 1-0 lead. Vancouver's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Scores! It's in the back of the net! Two quick goals in a minute 30, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. Once he recognizes that he has the room on that blue line, he just takes one step into the puck, James, and man, does he unleash of just a bomb that beats the goalie. With that last goal, you can certainly tell that the coach is not impressed. His team did not start ready and certainly been struggling throughout this game, now down by a few. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Bluger's one possession. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a save he made on the one timer And he maintains possession of the puck here. Gallagher's got it in the offensive end. Fires it, and that's off the club and will play on. Oh, that'll make him think twice about going into the corner after that collision. Taken by Hurtlander. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Receives the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Gallagher. Has a chance in front. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. And he slides it quickly to Suter. Oh, that's a good hit. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Hoaglander. Moves it to Heronic. Takes the shot. And that carries off a body in traffic. And he's ridden off the puck. And it's kicked away. Wrist shot from the slate. Past the midway mark of the frame. Vancouver's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And that pass is intercepted. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Cut flushes the leather. What a save by Kipko. He's all around the puck, and the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Vancouver's won the face-off deep in their own end. Puck battle along the boards. Slides it over to Miller. The Canadians have it in the offensive zone. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Besser. Picked off by Barron. Great puck check on the reach. Moves the puck to Dayarnay. Oh, they go back on off. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Feeds it over. Let's it go. Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Temko. Here in the late goings of the period, the Canucks are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. Montreal's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Passes it to Caulfield. And he feeds it down to Suzuki. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. 
Looking to make something happen along the boards. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. And that's taken away. The Canadians have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. And a solid stop on the play there. And now he tries to get it across to Pedersen. And that's knocked away by Savard. Gains the zone through the middle. Huge steal at his own end. Hughes grabs the puck inside his own territory. Vancouver's looking to break out. Directs it on over to Hirota. And that's picked off. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Seeds teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Tempo's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Quick feed to Hughes. The lane was clogged up, and that shot's blocked. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Goaltender. Well, this is such a quick shot that comes from the slot that you have to have good reflexes to be able to make that club safe. Lots of time left in this period. Vancouver's got a 2 0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Montembeau's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Suzuki's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Takes a shot. And a as well to shield the puck. I mean, it's not easy to board off your opponent numerous times as you're getting pushed and shoved, James. He finds a way to do it, and he buries it. Montreal's down some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. The Canadians win possession here in the open ice. Now a quick pass to Suzuki. Drives to the sweet spot, and that's off target. He can certainly be disappointed with his finishing touch there, James, but a lot of good work put into the fight for position to get to that area in the first place. And there's a club save on the play. possession. Line A slugging the puck. Offside the call will get a reset. Lots of time left in this period. Montreal still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. And that's off target as it hits a body. And a great save. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. Vancouver's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. 
Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. The Canucks gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Uh -huh. He scores! Well, how about that for the ultimate gift? Well, it's a present, that's for sure, James. Get the goal on your birthday. I think it's one he'll remember. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Vancouver's now taking a two-goal lead here in the second. Well, that's a huge goal. That's going to give him a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Slavkowski. What a steal in his own end. The Canadians are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been in great spots and finding ways to get the puck. They're doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Big time stop there. Demko has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Passes it over. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Point to point pass. Another key. Appreciation for that huge save, and man, does this ever feel good. You know you feel the it. score, and that's back-to-back -back goals. Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. The Canucks are having a laugh tonight, up by a bunch now. Well, when it's working for you, it's working for you. And you know that the coach loves this as well, because guess what? The entire bench is going to be utilized. They're all in rhythm. Get them all out there. Puck grab by Myers. Myers to the crease. Denies him in front. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders, because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. The Canucks have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Nice job tying up his opponent. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Montembeau. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey, putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to pound the puck. Puck sent over to Line. A. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Great glove save! You see goaltenders working on reaction time all the time. Why? For shots like this, you just have to react. It's instincts that make the save. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Canucks are taking control of this one, now leading by three. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Into the attacking area from the left side. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Joshua is so difficult to stop in tight. He's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. And he takes the dish and makes the save. Slides the puck across to Savard. Montreal's got it across the line. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Wow. Scores! And it is something. That clearly was something, Cheryl. That certainly was. And there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back. 
back in this game. Montreal's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through to the net. And off the draw center, they take control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Dayarnay. And that one's denied. Dishes it off. There's another stop. He does a great job being set to position here. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to make that second save, James. But it's pure athleticism that gets the job done. The Canucks have had a lot of jump in their steps since the drop of the puck in this one, and they lead it here in this second period. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. And he loses control of the puck. Gallagher's going to play it against the half wall. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. A little banging and crashing now. And that's right, broken up. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Shot! The Habs gain possession in their own end. And the play continues. And he slides it quickly to Slavkowski. Sends a pass over. Poked away by Shekai. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Quick pass to Slavkowski. That's gloved by Demko. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Late goings of this period. The Canucks lead it 4-2. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. From the right side, takes the pass. Quick shot, off target. Montreal's got the puck behind the net. Big hit on the board. Wow, uh, he was so aggressive on this one, James. He recognizes that he's got to close and then shoulder on shoulder. This is a clean hit and disrupts the player from the puck. That's a beauty. Easily turned aside by Demko. And now he angles it across to DeBrus. And a stiff break set up. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Line. Grabbed along the board by Doc. And that's deflected. Turned aside by Demko. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Besser. Pinned up along the boards. Puck scooped up by Susi. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here they are on the attack. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Canucks are in the lead in the third period. It's been an entertaining game of hockey, but it's all about the offense and how much you can generate sky-high numbers off the charts, but zero defensive metrics on display. Here's a chance! And just got a piece of it to keep it out! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Slavkovsky's moving the puck through his own zone. Feeds it over! Too much traffic in the lane. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. That's intercepted. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And the puck's knocked loose. Scooped up along the wall by Besser. 
Miller's got it in the defensive end. And now he passes up to Strong. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tosses it to Tuck. Great reach with the hook check. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Slides it quickly to Barron. Good check, frees the puck up. Moves it to Barron. Driving right to the front. And that goes off a player. Drills him. As a power forward in the game, you go north south, and guess what? You deliver bone crushing hits just like that one. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Poked away by Harvey Pinard. Shuts him down. Rocks him. Vancouver's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. The Canadians win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. More than half the period left to play. 4-2 is the score. Good stand up hit. And now it's grabbed by Shekhar. Puck picked up by Pesetta. Tremendous puck save by Kenko. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get. And he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Officials are set, players seem ready, we're ready to get this thing back underway. The Canadians win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Play with a dead penalty coming up. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind, this is the penalty. Suzuki's gaining momentum. Moves it quickly over to Line. Handles the puck. The Canucks will kill off a few extra seconds now. And the puck sails into the bench, forcing a stoppage of play. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Bloomers want it in their own end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Montreal's got the puck. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Joshua. And the puck clears the zone. Takes the feed, moving in. Slavkovsky's got it along the wing. Hughes is out of the box. His penalty has expired. Well, if he can be put back on their heels, and I felt like this group was on their toes. They knew exactly how to protect this lead and really create some energy for their team. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. Broken up by Hironic. No room for that one to get through. Takes a bump and hangs on. Oh, big time save by Demko. Quick feed to Miller. Gains the zone on the left wing. Sets the feet in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! A 
man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Vancouver's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Takes the feet ahead from the left side. Poked away at center right. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Quick feed to Doc. And now he moves it quickly to Harvey Pinard. Loses the coverage there. They've got numbers. Here's a chance in front. And that turns off a twig in front of the net. Scrum ensues along the boards. Slides the puck across to Anderson. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Myers. Here they come on the attack. Sends it over. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tide that turns here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, they gain the advantage through the neutral zone here, James, and they're able to enter with an odd man rush. And I love that the way the puck carrier just manipulates their opponent to open up scenes. They have the extra ice, they have the extra player, and they finish. Things have gone from bad to worse behind the bench right now, and you can see the complete frustration of the coach. Just looking down at his bench, really doesn't know how, who to put out there right now because no one's delivering, no one's putting forth an effort. It's extreme frustration behind the bench. The Canucks continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. And he makes the save. The Habs have the puck now. Matheson stick handling in his own zone. Oh, look at this chance! Fires it on net! Fantastic save! Demko's made himself look huge on that last save. I mean, anytime the puck is in a quality scoring area like the slot, you gotta get square to the shooter. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. The Canucks win the draw. From the right side, moves it up ahead. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Matheson. The Canucks going to work on offense. Oh, just Madison with the paddle save. And that's blocked in traffic. Here's a chance in front. Big save. Montreal's got to hold him in against the wall. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much needed. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Face off coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to out battle his opponent now. The Canadians move it in. Puts it on net, and that's broken up. Here's a chance to die someone close. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Here he is in close. And they score. The pylon continues, Cheryl. Oh, it is ugly, and there's nothing worse than the score than having your own crowd just give way on you there. Not happy. You can hear the booing tonight in this building. Just a tough game all the way around. I think they screamed uncle about two of these ago. Vancouver's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and 
defensive zone. The Canucks' top line is on the ice, and any time they're on the ice, they create opportunity. It's because of their motion and their gifted offensive talents. They love the offensive zone. It's their playground. Looks to make a play over to Besser. Final seconds of this one. An absolute clunker performance by the home team, and the fans are letting them hear it.